Hello, this is Ben at Saint Support. In this quick video, I'll cover four initial steps that you would take during your first access after you've installed the Saint Security Suite. So we'll just go over them quickly. Of course, uh, the first one here is to log into your new installation. Then um, the first thing it will ask you to do is change your password. So you can do that real quick. Let's see. And then once that's done, the uh, next step will be to enter your license key. So you'll read all of this uh, legal jargon. And then accept the agreement. And then at this point, you can copy your license key and paste it in. You get your license key from the portal, the same place where you got the software to install Saint. And, um, and once you save that, then, uh, then Saint will start, will be able to work as normal and the menus will come up as expected. Now, once you've completed those basic steps, which are pretty much forced and you're gonna go through them, um, one step that many people don't do, that they should do is make a, backup a restore point while you still have an empty database that you haven't uh, made any changes with. So to get here you'll go to the manage database, I mean the manage menu item and go down to system maintenance. And then on the system maintenance page you have a, a number of buttons here, the first one being backup database and logs. So we go ahead and click that. And while the database is still fresh and basically new, we can add a backup to the system. Now, once this, once you have this backup, if something was to happen to your system, um, for some reason you just wanted to restore it back to what you might refer to as factory settings or back to when it was new, um, maybe to get rid of some of your configurations or something, or whatever the reason, then you can come to the same page under manage and system maintenance. And here you have the backup that you made and you can just hit restore, the restore button here, and that will restore everything back to the point that this backup was made. Another option or another capability that you should be aware of is that these files are links. So if you take the database file here and the file system file and back them up, by clicking on them, it'll allow you to download them to your system. And um, you'll have them on your workstation. Then if for some reason the the machine you installed Saint on is damaged, then you can install a new Saint, set up a new host, install a new Saint, and then you could restore this backup by clicking on here, restore the database, and it will ask you for those two files, the database backup and the file system backup. And you can use this to restore back to the the point that those two files are made. Also, they can be restored individually. You don't have to be restored together. But the point is that you would have a backup to restore to and be able to get back to where you, to where you were in the beginning. And also, um, if you had a, and also if you do these backups regularly, then the same situation, if you had to create a new saint, you could restore all of your data, all of your scans, everything that you've done previously, 
previous to the last backup you've done onto a new system. So that's real important to do that. So those are the initial steps to get your Saint Security Suite initialized and ready to go. Um, that was, of course, logging in, changing your password, uh, inserting your license key, and then making a backup, initial backup restore point on the system in case you need it in the future. And I hope this was helpful to you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.